Ooh. How do you people look look at the camera with that ring light? I have no idea. Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated? Welcome back to another conspiracy video. Anyone who has been on my channel for all, forever will know that I really, really do like a good conspiracy. And some good scary facts too. But I am not one of those tin foil hat wearing people, I promise. Although there was an incident that nearly made me, nearly made me do that. I was in grade 11 or 12 and I had a 6610 Nokia, I think it was. And I said to my friends, wouldn't it be cool if they put screensavers on mobile phones? And then a few years, it happened. It happened. You uh, might want to thank me for that one. Maybe. So the conspiracy that I want to talk about today is... Do we, Do we live, live in a simulation? But before I get into all that, I will rattle off with all the crap that I rattle off with with every video. If you like this kind of content and you are an artist or you are someone who likes art and you like to watch people draw disturbing stuff that is related to the particular topic that I am, you know, talking about, like and subscribe. Um, you will find all that on this channel. That's that's what I do now. It's, it's what I do. Join me. Join the other dark souls that like to reside on my channel. That didn't sound creepy at all. So let's not delay this any longer and let's get into talking about are we living in a simulation and trust me this is going to mess with your mind this messed with my mind so much that i started i, I started doubting a lot of things um and really i don't know it just it just disturbed me like it it just really made me think about everything and how that this could be possible this is such a plausible thing. So I remember reading about this theory when Elon Musk brought it up. Now, um, I don't know how to take Elon Musk. I was just sort of sitting back waiting to see exactly what he is going to do with everything before I make a decision on how I feel about him. But either way, the origins go back much further than Elon Musk talking about it. Believe it or not, a guy called Rene Descartes, and I probably butchered that name, I'm sorry, talks about a version of this theory back in the 15th century, followed by Hans Moravec in the 1900s. He's still alive today. And then a guy called Nick Bostrom expanded on this theory and blew it up into what we know it today. Go and read his thesis on it. It will blow your mind, literally. It's said that technology can be or is so great that we would never know the difference of real life to a simulation because it's just so advanced. Our human consciousness can move between simulations. For example, you die in one simulation and you end up in another straight away without knowing. You just bounce around. Some people say that they can even pinpoint the moment they die and end up on, well, say here, because I'm you know, seeing a lot of videos of people who, who claim that they they've come from a different a different dimension or a different parallel universe that is of them but it's different here just imagine that our universe galaxy solar system this earth our lives are just a digital construct from a higher intelligence 
So what is the simulation theory? It's where we could potentially be living in an advanced or powerful computer program. Think the Matrix movies. Nick Bostrom suggests that this kind of thing is more probable than what was first thought due to humans being able to survive and sustain for thousands of years. Our God may just be a teenager running several simulated universes at one time in the background while building yet another simulated universe. Okay, so before we move on, are you still with me? I know it's a lot to take in, but stay with me and it probably sounds like a whole heap of shit. And I'm trying to do my best to explain in layman terms everything because um, yeah, that's this, just how I operate. I like everything to be explained in like the most simplest terms possible. So let's continue. Here's something else to just throw into the mix that our lives are a simulation. Think about the virtual reality, augmented reality games that are out today right now and how this technology has gotten more real as the years have gone on. So it will get that real that we won't know what is real life or what is a digital life. Couldn't this be happening to us right now? This will then become the simulation within a simulation. Okay, so I think I'm getting a bit of brain damage now with all this, but I shall go on. Think about the past, the age of the dinosaurs. This could be an archived, outdated version of the game that we know about with remnants still here or programmed into the simulation. Maybe the simulation is booted up somewhere else and you could get to it somehow. Maybe time travel is just a programmer or higher being writing you into that simulation. The past is inside a massive server with all these virtual realities inside. Now, I understand this theory because I used to be an IT technician and I used to deal with a lot of virtual machines for companies. So you would have a big server that is running like uh, VMware, something like that, like a, 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 um, a piece of software that allows you to run multiple other virtual software systems and operating systems inside that. So you will then log into the virtual software and then have access to a whole heap of other installed windows like it's, it's basically like your computer but you can make multiple computers with different say ip addresses that people can log in remotely for a non-computer person that's gonna make no sense whatsoever sorry <laughs> it's the best way that i can explain it so maybe we have all these different realms inside a virtual machine one's called say let's say our universe or the milky way then you say pull um, another virtual machine over here that's got the andromeda galaxy you know there's there could be all these different levels inside this virtual machine so space is like the void of the game that you can't get to but you can see no, just blackness out there. No end, no top, no bottom, no sides, no walls, just space, air, nothingness. We are just trying to explore the game, the simulation we see around us. And we're just seeing how far we can advance in the game. People are claiming that they know they are living in another dimension after they died in another one. This could potentially only be possible if we are living in a simulation. Like some games, you die, then you come straight back and you come back to a checkpoint. Maybe that's what's happening. Also accounts of people having missing time 
out of whack events or things appearing out of nowhere. Events that people call glitches in the matrix. Videos such as a baby running down a path and all of a sudden a soccer ball appears and rolls in front and then behind the baby. People caught on CCTV just materializing in front of our eyes. And I'm not talking like a ghost or an apparition. I am talking like a physical human being that has just appeared out of nowhere and is just walking down the street and is interacting with other people um, and all that sort of stuff. Like it's like all you have to do is just put those descriptions into um, into a Google search and you will find them like make your own decisions some of it like i'm still like i'm still skeptical on a lot of this um i'm not like completely sold but it does look pretty freaky this could even account for mandela effects that people claim that are real now the mandela effect if you don't know is remembering something a certain way when it was actually another way so for example looney tunes um a lot of people swear black and blue that tunes was spelt t-o-o-n-s but in true fact if you go back it was actually spelt t-u-n-e-s another popular one is the berenstein bears um it wasn't the berenstein bears it was always the berenstein bears maybe this has been a change you know in the simulation program for some reason maybe the programmer decided to make these changes because they liked them better down the track they thought maybe we just changed the names um you know some people remember it and others don't because that's like maybe a glitch in the matrix or these people have come from another dimension that that like in that dimension it was the berenstein bears but now they're here on this plane and it's the berenstein bears who knows like it it's just crazy and yeah the theory of that everything is slightly different from dimension to dimension like our parallel dimensions run run alongside each other and they all can be slightly different maybe the programmer is you know ch making these little changes to see what happens on one you know on one um, particular simulation and just seeing if it changes anything just by changing the name of something i don't know like it's it's all just phew. and there is also a link to the hadron collider basically creating these issues with um with the mandela effect and um they reckon every time the Hadron Collider fires up, weird shit just happens. But, you know, I'm not I'm not going to get into that right now because that's just... Actually, no, bugger it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it right now. So when I talk about the Hadron Collider, it is a proton particle accelerator that resides in Geneva, Switzerland, and it smashes particles together. Particles or protons travel at near speed of light and are forced to collide to attempt to understand the structure of space and time, quantum mechanics, and general relativity, extra dimensions, and dark matter, etc. Magnets in the machine basically direct the particles around to smash into each other. Now, the Hadron Collider lives in a tunnel that is 27 kilometers in circumference and is 175 meters under the ground and was built back in 1998 to 2008 by over 10,000 scientists from around the world. Now, I have heard of theories that if they smash particles together in this hadron collider and something happens and say opens a black hole or something crazy like that they don't know they do not know how to reverse it or they do not know what to do after that process happens and that is terrifying when they're doing something that they don't know how to reverse if something happens now this could be the reason why a lot of weird shit does happen on this on this earth this thing can probably 
alter certain events or send out weird signals or, or, or create some sort of like uh, fracture in time that could maybe just do some really crazy shit to our reality. And like another theory too is um, ghosts, you know, the paranormal are just glitches in the matrix. They're residual visions, like something burnt into like a computer screen from past characters that ends up looping and, and still remaining here in this simulation because it is just a simulation. We also can't prove that we are not living in a simulation it's actually easier to prove that we are living in one because there is so much evidence presented for this theory everything is perfectly lined up in the solar system the moon the sun you know they're, they're perfect distances away from us to have life here to survive on this planet this cannot be possible with a, an uncontrollable explosion like the Big Bang Theory. Like a Big Bang Theory that's just, just explodes, just does not, you know, create what we are living in perfectly. Like how the eclipse, like when, when we have an eclipse, the moon and the sun are like perfectly slot over each other, even though they're, you know, totally different sizes. Like that, that is... That is not done by just a random Big Bang. Like, I'm sorry, but I do not believe in the Big Bang Theory at all. Our universe, our solar system galaxy is just structured too perfectly to work like a well-oiled machine. So I cannot believe in a Big Bang Theory. So my illustration today for this particular topic on the simulation theory is basically just of a sort of metal house sitting on a floating bit of dirt just out in the nothingness. And it is it has all these realities plugged into it and it's controlling each one. So the one I've got up in the top um, uh, left of the illustration is Earth. Um, you'll see, like I've tried to do Australia and a bit of the other countries around um, on that. So that's Earth. And then the other two, the smaller one that the little robot type being is um, trying to hang up and get ready for it to be plugged in and, and created, basically. Um, that's like another uh, planet out there that's going to have um, other beings on it and it's gonna be another experiment or whatever, um, or another simulation. And then there is another world um, on the bottom right corner and it is ready to go. It's, it's plugged in as well. So it also is sustaining life and it's just, um, you know, I was gonna think of names for these uh, planets, these um, worlds, but I decided not to. Um, I was even going to put a sign on Earth with a little, you know, little sign saying Earth, but I thought, oh, bugger it, who cares? Um, I won't do that. Uh, but yeah, it's just like this this little, um, say, we well, could probably say this little robot, maybe, or there's something inside this house that is controlling everything and is quite sadistic and that's why i put blood everywhere because um not only did the picture you know but it just needed some blood it was just too nice looking um yeah it's just it's it's just representing the the bloodshed and the complete um cruelness that this this life could portray and basically what could be being portrayed on other planets it could be very similar like it's disturbing like it's yeah very very weird so that's how that's what i created this illustration for that's what i wanted it to represent like if your brain didn't hurt before i bet it's i bet it's hurting now there is so much on this. All you have to do is just just go and Google it. Um, 
have a look for yourself. There is so many videos of, I wouldn't say it's concrete evidence, but it's pretty, it's pretty up there with, um, you know, sort of, um, this, this, this could be legit. Like this, this could be real, but like, just imagine, just imagine this. Our universe is apparently 15 billion years old. Our solar system alone is approximately 5 billion years old. So basically everything outside of us has a 10 billion year advantage on us, potentially. Imagine what can be done in that time and how real they could get simulations and build simulations for us to live in and we wouldn't even know like give us this real life experience there is certain things in our lives that we we can't change and this is why i think we do live in a simulation like we can't change our environments around us can't dim the sun we can't make it rain oh that's a holy that, that's another entire video on itself about actually controlling the weather, but we won't go there. Like it's all controlled through, through programming. Like it's been coded that way. And there's gotta be a level of, of coding because you think about it like every day there is people born that are end up being police officers or nurses or um, people like that, like doctors. What happens if people were born that didn't want to do anything like that. And I, I honestly believe that our characters that we play have been like programmed to do what we're doing. And, and there has to be a certain amount of these sort of people to help run the world. And that's why I think that maybe this is all possible. Maybe this is why people disappear. There's disappearances with no trace. No one knows where they've gone because they've been written out of, of Earth, of this programming. Um, they just disappear. They just fade into nothingness or they, you know, shift into another like dimensional realm or something. I'm starting to sound really crazy. So let me know what you, you know, what you thought about about this topic like do you think we live in a simulation do you think that um, you know that this theory is true because I'm kind of starting to believe that it it could be it could be that we are that we are living in a simulation fuck Anyway, hopefully you liked this video and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm getting out of this light because I am now seeing rings.